Hey everyone and welcome back to Art à la carte. In this video is actually the third video in a series that I'm doing on creating your own original character. So if you haven't seen the first two videos, I'll leave links to those in the description box below, but let me quickly kind of go back over what we talked about in those videos. So in video number one, we talked about creating your character, how to design it by creating actually several different versions of that character, and then picking and choosing the qualities that you like best from all the different designs and combining them together to make your final character design. In video two, we talked about getting to know your character. Sometimes a character design looks really cool until you realize you have to draw that element a bunch of times and then it becomes a hassle and you want to be able to streamline or simplify your design. In episode two, we just drew the character a ton of times in a ton of different positions to really get an understanding of, of how the character was going to look and how it was going to be like to draw this character over and over. This is especially important if you're going to do a like a comic book or even more so if you're going to do like an animation where you're going to be drawing this character a lot. Now for the third step, this is finalizing your character design. We really know our character now, but now we need to finalize it so that our, our character's design remains constant through the entire project. And what we're going to do is create a character design sheet. This is a reference sheet that you will have in front of you every time you draw your character. You can refer back to this. A lot of places that use several different artists to draw the same character. These sheets are really important to make sure that the style remains true and, co and constant. And it helps even individual artists to make sure that the position and the sizing and everything is correct as well. You're going to want to draw several different versions of your character in specific positions. The first one you're going to have is facing on, so it's straight on looking right towards you. Once you finish the straight on picture, then you're going to begin to draw the, your character going in a slight turn. So going from one side profile to a three quarters, then a head on profile, then another three quarters, and finally um, the back side of the character. This is really, really important because as your character turns or looks in different directions, you need to work out how everything is going to look. So for example, in my character, Pearl, she has a pearl um, jewel in her hair. I want to make sure I know how does the hair fold around that? How do the little seaweed leaves poke out? How does her bangs look in different angles? And this again will help me to keep this consistent. If I didn't have the sheet with me and I just went from memory, as I continue to draw the character, she will begin to morph and change into something different. And I'll find later on as I'm drawing her, she will look totally different. You know, a hundred drawings later from now, she will be, there will be different elements to her. I'll draw her hair a little bit differently. I'll get more accustomed to her, which in one aspect is really good. But if you're trying to create a project where your character looks the same, you want to have in place methods to help you keep her looking the same. Now, while you're doing the spreadsheet and, and turning the characters in different angles, um, you can keep them in the exact same position or you can kind of move them around a little bit. And I do that too, just because I like the fun of how it looks. When I draw the mermaid from the back, I do make her hair transparent so I can see how the back of her actually looks if I do a shot where her hair maybe is swished over to the side or something. So then the next step is to draw her face with several different expressions and emotions. And there are tons that you can do. You can Google like character expression charts and it'll give you this whole list of different expressions that you should draw your character as. You can even print off charts that have like little boxes that you can draw the little faces in underneath all of the different emotions. And that's really helpful. You don't need that, but it gives you a lot of ideas of different emotions you have. I would definitely cover the main basic ones, happy, sad, angry, scared, tired, bored, annoyed, things like that. It'll help you determine exactly how your character looks when they are displaying these kinds of emotions. If at any point while you're working on this chart you notice that your character's design is changing, like it's not looking consistent and you're having trouble still keeping your character looking the same from step to step, go back to step number two. It just means you have to continue to get to know your character and draw, 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 draw her or him or it until you know it so well backwards and forwards and inside out that you can create your character in these different positions and different emotions. There's no super quick method to get to this point. It just takes time and practice. But if you're finding that you're having a hard time keeping the consistency at this point, um, that's the answer to your, that's the solution to your problem is just go back to step two and draw the character. 
Sometimes I will work on character designs for years before I finally pick an actual design that I like and get to know it. So don't think that this is a something that can be achieved in a day or a week or a month. If you're having a hard time with this, this is a, a process. If this is your actual job, yes, there's going to be a time constraint and you will have to get this character design in a you know short amount of time. But if this is a project that you're working on just for yourself, take the time you need to really get to know your character. I guarantee you, and I say this from personal experience, this is the point you want to put the time in to get to know your character, not after you have drawn you know, a hundred pages in your comic or graphic novel and realize, I do not like the design of this character. I need to do a redo because then you have to redo the entire thing. So I highly recommend to put the time into this point and you really, you will not regret it. Well, hopefully you found this encouraging and gave you some good information as you're creating your own original characters. Some of you guys have mentioned your original characters in the comments of previous videos. I would love to see your original characters. If you'd like to share with them, go ahead and post them on my Instagram, tag me in Instagram or Twitter. If you would like to share them publicly and let everyone else see them, use the hashtag art cart art um, and we can all check them out together. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me, watching this video. Again, if you haven't watched the other two videos, I'll leave links to those in the description box below. If you're brand new to this channel, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future videos. And as always, God bless you guys, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.